Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to the Denison Sports Network. I'm Craig Hicks, and today I'm joined by head coach Sarah Lee of the Denison women's basketball team. And it's November, so we're ready to talk a little bit of basketball. We're starting in just a few days with the season opener here in Granville. And now, coach, starting your 27th year at Denison, and the NCAC preseason poll just came out the other day, had us picked second. And a couple, uh, three, I believe, first place votes from your conference coaches. Uh, does that mean anything to you at this point in the season? Uh, what do you think about the uh, preseason poll? Well, it is a preseason poll, and I'm very flattered that um, the fellow coaches thought that uh, we would have a good season this year and, and compete for a conference title. Um, I think that um, we have had some early season injuries that could affect um, early on how we, we play, and we hope that uh, by January, February rolls around that uh, potentially maybe getting back um, a couple of those athletes could help us um, again late in the season by for a conference championship. I know one thing that everybody I think does that follows the team, you look at the schedule early in the season and thing that jumps out at me right away is I see a really tough non-conference schedule. Uh, we know the NCAC, that'll be you know, a war going through that as a season, but your non-conference schedule is going to be a test. You, like you bring in third game of the season, the defending national champion, Thomas Moore. Can you talk about what you hope to get out of that non-conference schedule? Well, I think early on when we um, put the schedule together, we thought with the people that we had in place that we wanted to challenge them early. Uh, we thought we'd have a lot of experience and depth um, back with the program this year. And unfortunately, with um, some of the injuries that we've had, uh, we lack depth now and we lack some of that experience. So uh, probably is not what we anticipated um, with that non-conference tough schedule, but it, it won't hurt us in the fact that we're going to get to see really good opponents and we're going to see where we need to be um, at the end of the year. Said so now, I know you did mention we did. You have a lot of players returning, thirteen returning, some injured now, of course. But uh, talk about players like Jordan Holmes, Kelly Arter, a lot of experience, a lot of games played. Um, some of those players, what do they bring to the table? Well, Jordan Holmes just um, adds an, another dimension to our program. Um, she defensively um, stops opponents, allows us to play a little bit different type of defense. Uh, she just, um, again, can do a lot of different things that we're really going to look to her to step up her game even more this season. And uh, with our some of our lack of depth, and probably even play more minutes than she did in the past. Uh, Kelly Arter, again, coming off a great junior campaign, uh, really uh, was a dynamic three-point shooter. Uh, we have tried to get her to open up her game a little bit more and, and not only shoot the three, but take it to the basket, pull up jumpers. Um, and become a better passer, and she's really thrived um, in some of doing some of those things that we expect her to do this year. Well, and one thing I want to definitely touch on is is we play in a, a facility that's it's beautiful. It's been recently updated, but the gym was 65 years old, and we found that we were playing on the original court in that gym. Not anymore. Over the summer, it took all summer. They tore up the floor, put down a brand new floor. It looks great. What are your thoughts so far after having practiced for a couple of weeks on the new surface? Well, it's just um, it's great. It feels good on the kids' legs. Um, unfortunately, some of our injuries are not due to the, the floor. But um, again, it's just fun to come into a place that looks new. It's vibrant. Um, it's the first year, so it adds some excitement to getting out there and playing. Um, makes the feet feel a lot better, the legs. Um, we hope that we can recover a little bit uh, from each and every practice. So going into the next game and, and maybe even later in the season, maybe cut down on some of the nagging, um, you know, overuse injuries that we've had in the past. Well, Coach, again, I'd like to thank you for joining us today. We're all looking forward to the season starting on November 13th. And you can watch Denison right here at Livingston Gym when they take on Case Western Reserve at 6 p.m. All of Denison's home games this year will be streamed live on DenisonBigRed.com. You can watch that in HD. So for Coach Sarah Lee, I'm Craig Hicks. Thanks, and go Big Red.